What's up, traders? Uh, going two for three today. I'm going to call CVM a loss because we're definitely right after commissions. And uh, yeah, let's jump right into this. Oxy and FLR were our first two trades. Technically traded these at the same time. Um, really not too much to say about these. Um, they were both kind of slower, uh, took smaller size on both of them, and uh, they both ended up working out. But um, as you can see, um, nice extension away from that previous resistance here on Oxy. However, it was kind of slow. I drew that second line there because if we scroll in, you can kind of see uh, where it came up, got denied, and then went back up through. And as you can see, those candles afterwards were not really anything too special. And so we treaded with caution and um, you know, started pretty small. What did we use? 25 shares to start here, added 50, and then I think we added 75 up here. So kind of a one, two three essentially and uh came back down um just scaled out as best we could and as you can see we could have gotten a whole lot more but uh from a trade that i would normally take to get 30 bucks out of it i'm pretty happy with it flr um same kind of thing um this one just never really gave us an opportunity to add uh the volume on this was pretty crappy too but really like the um resi uh, resistance the extension from previous resistance and uh went through a key area Got short. It decided to go a little bit further. We actually did have an ad waiting up here at like 3160. Uh, if you want to go watch the trade live, um, again, that will be down in the pinned comment. It'll take you over to Twitch where all the trades that I make are in the highlight section. So you can go back and watch all my trades if you want to. And uh, yeah, it just ended up working. Um, came down. I was looking for hopefully VWAP, but it started to bounce, took it off, and uh, just a small win there. And then on to the showstopper that you guys didn't see wasn't live on stream. It started a little bit after stream. I want to say it was like a half hour after I ended. And uh, yeah, it got a little dicey. We actually traded it twice. Um, was a small winner on this one. I think it was like $13 or so on this one. Um, just took small size. Let's see, 27 to 16 with 125. So yeah, probably about 13 bucks. Um, but then we got back in. Um, and I'm, I'm a little clueless looking in hindsight why we got back in, but I did use even smaller size. We started with 50 because I felt like I was kind of just looking for a quick little play. Well, what I was looking for in a quick little play to come down and retest this previous resistance uh, turned into smashy smashy um, because it went up to five. Um, it actually went through five and came back down. So we got an ad there. Um, and this is where I kind of messed up my order. Because I've been saying I'm going to always do 1-2 from now on. And I did 1-1 one, one by accident. Um, and as it was coming back down, uh, we hit it. And then I guess it was a kind of a good thing. Um, because it then went right back up. Didn't really come down any further. As you can see, we got our ad at 88. It only went down to 86 after that. And we ended up just adding that other part there at 506. So essentially gave us the uh, full um, 2 ad for the 1-2 at around five, the $5 mark. But then I don't really know what I was doing because the idea is I'm going to do one, two, six. And if I'm going to do one, two, six, I obviously can't add too close together because then if for some reason after I do that six and it flies up, I'm pretty much screwed, right? So a six in this case would be 300 shares. So what you're going to see is three lots of 100. So we end up taking on another 300 shares here. And... Uh, I don't really, or actually I think it was 250 because I wanted to get to the even number. Yeah, 250. So we're at 150, end up at 250 here, which brings us to 400. And wouldn't you know it, no pullback and it goes right into the halt price. And we ended up, we knew the halt price was at 78. I uh, was kind of hoping for a test of it and then a shove back down, like a fake halt situation. Um, we added uh, 400 shares up here. So essentially where our average was, at, I think it was 505, uh, hit 400 up here, brought it up to, I think it was 532 or something like that. And uh, yeah, pretty frustrating. So as you can see, uh, 532 being our average around here, uh, not looking so hot. Uh, halted, it opens up at 590, it halted at 578. So it gaps up a little bit, runs right up to 614 before ultimately coming down. So when it went up to 614, had I had the broker per trade sauce, max sauce in there, I would have hit it. Um, I think I was down 540. Uh, it was either 540 or 560. I was down. And uh, I was like, okay. Um, I saw that number flash when it went to 614. 
and then it came down in my head immediately. If it goes back up to that number, I have to cut, right? I can't, I can't let this have a chance at coming down and then go back up after the halt knowing that if it does that, it's probably going to at least try to continue and who knows where it's going at that point, right? It could go right into another halt. You know, we don't know what it's going to do. So that was my plan coming out of the halt. Um, I was obviously hoping it would gap down and then halt down, et cetera. Um, when it opened up the halt down halt price was 531. So that's definitely not good. I, I, I remember making uh, fun with somebody saying, uh, it's never good to be in a stock with an average. I think it was Steve, um, where the halt price is higher than your average. <laughs> so you can't even get down to your average, even if it halts down, um, which is a scary situation to be in. Um, so as you can see, comes down 560, makes a low there, starts to try to bounce. Um, we take some off there at 569, realizing it was going to try to bounce. Um, that was a pretty good shove back down. Did not want to let these go all the way back against us. So we did make what 72, we made three, three cents on those 400 shares because we took half off. Um, and that gave us a realized of, I think a hundred and four dollars but still had the other half of that unrealized as well. Um, it starts to, it tries to pop back up, continues back down right at our average. Um, it starts to kind of teeter out a little bit. Um, previous resistance is right there from where it kind of held right here. And, uh, so we take a little bit more off. Uh, 538 was the lowest it got here. We ended up taking some out at 548 when it looked like it was going to shoot back up through 550. Now the fun starts. I realize that it did not want to go back through 550. So as it's coming down, I try to add to get some more size to make up some of this gain. And as you can see, we add, I think, 400 shares back here. That's what I added. Let me get rid of this. <laughs> okay, bud. And uh, I'm pretty sure it was 400 shares because then I end up taking that right back off because it looked like it was a failed attempt to go lower. Um, and I'm pretty sure we got that at five, yeah, 532 is where we added those. We ended up taking them off at 529. And it's just frustrating because I, I had them out at 511, but it really, this, if you go, if you were in watching this trade or in this trade or whatever, you would have seen it would keep trying to get under 520 and then just bought right back up to 530. Under 520, it was like 517 and it just wouldn't give us that, you know, flush down to five. And even on this candle, it didn't. It only went to 516. So at this point, you know, I'm thinking, okay, VWAP's there. Um, obviously, you know, there's a lot of people that bought in here. Um, they're trying to push this back up. And as you can see, it really did just go sideways. And uh, once we realized again here that it didn't want to go up through 530, uh, we tried to add back again, trying to get that size, again, putting our orders at 511, and again, stopping at that 517. And then it, it tried to go back up again. So we took that off, um, basically break even. It went to 517. And uh, right after that, obviously, it went up through 520 again. And we didn't want to let this, you know, added shares go up and, you know, just break us. I should have probably just like used somewhere around like here as a stop for those shares I was adding, you know, the right, the curl, et cetera. Um, but now we were trying to add to our um, position, which was bringing our average down just a little bit as well. And uh, yeah, so. As you can see, it, it did fail here, but we took these off basically break even. So we didn't end up really getting extra shares on the backside at all because we took them off as we got them basically at the same price both times, which is very frustrating um, because this could have ended up being a decent trade. However, this did go through view app and continue down and gave us a break even trade. So I can't even be mad about it considering the fact that we were down almost a max loss. You can see our last cover was over here, which was, it was only like 25 shares. So um, just grateful. Grateful that it ended up working out because in a sense, yeah, we broke even on it and paid a crap ton in commissions, but uh, we were down 500 and I want, I want to say it was 560. We were down $560 up here at the top and uh, we made that all back. So in a sense, if I really wanted to clickbait this thumbnail, I could have put, you know, like up $500 or something because in my head, uh, we were realized like $150 after the second cover. And then we made all that back. Um, meanwhile, we were down up at the top $560. So the fact that we're going to end the day green, 
I'm very happy with that because another huge loss like that would have been just absolutely detrimental. Just absolutely like three big losses, basically back to back to back. Um, that would have been uh, a pretty huge confidence shaker, I think. But that's all I got. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Always appreciate the support. If you do have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below. You can find me in Discord, find me on Twitter. And uh, I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow over on Twitch when I go live. If not, I'll see you here in the afternoon tomorrow. Peace.